Finally, Nigel's asleep. Oh, Ben, you haven't done a thing with the tree. We have to have it finished before our company arrives. Well, I gotta get this tricycle put together. Don't forget it. I'll put it together later. There's nothing to it. Well, fine. Fine, of course. You can certainly do it better than I can. Ben, have I said something I shouldn't have? If I have, I'm sorry. It's our first Christmas together, and I want tonight to be so perfect. Don't, 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 don't put the tinsel on that way. It's the way I always put tinsel on. Well, you've been doing it wrong. Single strand, one at a time. If they touch, you put on too much. Single strands, one at a time. Well, there's no need to be nasty about it. I mean, do you want the tree to look terrible for our guests? Oh, 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 hold it, hold it. They're your guests. They're not my guests. I don't remember anybody asking me if they could invite people over for our Christmas Eve. Oh, so this is what this childish tantrum is about. I didn't realize I had to ask your permission before throwing a party in my own home. That's right, you don't. It's your home. It's your party. It's your tree. It's your tricycle. But it's not your Ben. I am my own man. And, and I put tinsel on my own way. <laughs> then we'll do, do it your way. Great. <laughs> Are you happy now? Yeah, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> then this should thrill you. <laughs> you know, if you don't like this party, you're free to leave any time you want. Well, maybe I will. Good. And maybe I won't come back. Even better, you spoiled brat. <laughs> oh, oh, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> See, darling, I told you there was someone at the door. <laughs> That right in here. A witch. There we go. Couple of skulls for this kid. Well, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Hey, sir. Yeah. You're gonna have to make up another one of these boxes, with you? Got it, John. John. Congratulate yourself. What? Santa just walked into that gym and you should have seen those kids. They were thrilled. Oh, great. I knew as soon as those kids saw him, my worries were over. I can't do it! I can't do it! It's <laughs> wrong. You know all that garbage I told you before? It's a big lie. I'm not handling my divorce very well at all. I'm a mess. <laughs> As soon as the first little kid sat on my lap, I fell apart. He looked just like my little Bobby. Oh, my. I knew I couldn't go through with it, so I ran. Please don't let those kids find me. <laughs> can't back out on those kids now. You're Santa Claus, Chris Kringle, Father Christmas, Charlie Old Saint Nick. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Get hold of yourself. Get hold of Oh, my God. I just slapped Santa. <laughs> They can smell fear. <laughs> okay. It was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring anywhere in the house. <laughs> the stockings were hung by the chimney in the house, in hopes that 
Nicholas would soon walk into the house. <laughs> That's not the way it goes. Shut up, it's my house. Charlie, we have to have a man-to-man -man talk. You gotta stop blaming yourself. It takes two to ruin a marriage. Okay? Now that we got that all cleared up, let's get out there and ho, ho, ho. <laughs> no, no. It's ho, ho, ho. See, that was the best thing that ever happened to me. And now she's out of my life. Oh, come on. She's no good for you. You don't need her. You're too nice a guy. Now, come on, let's get out there. Oh, see, see, listen. See, what Robin and I had was very special. I knew at the minute that I saw her that we would be together. We were instantly drawn to each other. We couldn't fight it. <laughs> oh, God, she was so gorgeous. <laughs> and the sex, oh, it's incredible. <laughs> so, Charlie, is Robin alone tonight? <laughs> so, you know, the years we had were so full and satisfying. And then lately, I started thinking about my little boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's rough. I know. I realized that I couldn't let him grow up without a father. I know what you mean. Yeah. So I told Robin I had to go back to my wife. <laughs> Excuse me? My wife, Marge. <laughs> Who the hell is Robin? <laughs> my girlfriend. But Marge won't take me back. And now I've got nobody. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me, let me get this straight. You dumped your wife for your girlfriend, and then you dumped your girlfriend for your wife? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I didn't even have the guts to tell them to their face. I left them both a Dear John letter. 